favorite things to get from the pantry are Kit Kat. So I always get like three. <laughs> So I tried to film a day in my life in the office but it was really difficult and also it's not very interesting because I'm just sitting in front of my computer the whole day and and it's a bit hard to talk at my desk so today I am work from home uh, it's a Thursday, I work from the office usually Mondays to Wednesdays and then Thursday, Friday, I am able to rest a bit more at home because it takes about an hour and a half for me to get to the office um, but anyway, this morning I'm going to make coffee and I have an interview around 9.30 It's really exciting, I don't think I want to mention it now I think it'll be more interesting if I talk about it when things are more solidified and concrete I have a lot of things I want to do today. I am going to write out a to-do list, which I always do. And also, quick mention, I'm reading this book now, which is very helpful. But anyway, let's get started with the day. I got, I got a fellow mug. This is the really nice new lavender um, lilac one. And I love it so much. I just wanted to take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, Pixo. It's so exciting that as a UI UX designer, there's always new design tools, new things to learn. And Pixo is one very interesting tool that you can keep a lookout for. So Pixo is pretty much a Figma alternative. But a few things I found very interesting about Pixo, which Pixo makes very clear as well because they have a dedicated page for it. Like Figma, it has real-time collaboration. HD prototyping and link delivery so you can share files very easily and seamlessly by just submitting the link and people can see your designs and comment on them. But how is Pixel different from Figma? So Pixo has high compatibility with file formats, which was one of the pain points about Figma when I first transitioned from Adobe XD. So about two, three years ago, and maybe not even that long ago, because even up till about the start of this year, I was still using Adobe XD just because I had the Adobe subscription. And so all my designs were in Adobe XD and it was pretty much impossible at the time to transfer Adobe XD files to Figma. So I had to kiss goodbye to a lot of my Adobe XD files but with Pixel it has high compatibility with different file formats so you can be using Sketch, Adobe XD, Figma, Azure, whatever it may be. Pixel really allows all these different tools to come together so you can use it all in Pixel. Also another pain point about working in Figma especially in Shopee and sometimes I see words in Thai, Indonesian, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Chinese and I'm just lost. So one cool thing about Pixel is that it has seamless international collaboration so it would make working in in international teams a lot easier and that's amazing because if you're a digital nomad or freelancer and you're working internationally these kinds of translation features and design tools would be really important and really useful <gasps> lunch <laughs> as i was saying it's really cool because there's a customized private deployment where your deployed prototypes and apps would be safe in its private intranet also all its core functions are free just like figma so you can definitely get started on pixel time to have lunch <laughs> I know it's still kind of messy, but I cleared my desk a bit. And right now I'm doing what we call a UI review. Basically what a UI review is, is you're looking at designs that are already live or about to go live and you make sure that the designs are correct. So uh, this UI review is to relay back to the developers if anything is a bit off, like alignment or padding issues, sometimes colors, but usually it's quite minor since it's about to go live already or it's already live. 
so I'm doing that. And I also need to settle this mid-semester report for my modules since my internship at Shopee is part of my school curriculum, so I'm doing that as well. to do work now because it's about 3 p.m. which is when the fruit coma hits really hard for me so I am just listening to this video from my church I'm meeting my church friends later on it's cell group but we call it life group so I am watching a video a bit last minute but it's really nice to be able to listen to this while I get some work done it's kind of like a podcast and I love the idea of audio content and audio media because it's multitasking kind of content where you can do something else but still be fed knowledge and wisdom so I've been doing this a lot at work actually I'll listen to a podcast or in this case I'm listening to this sermon or this teaching uh, from my church so yeah that is that and I have a quick call at 3 10 p.m. with my mentor at Shopee uh, we're gonna discuss some designs so yeah I just finished my call and I did some work and I think I'm gonna head out now to meet my friends.